This is Mark Kemp of LasVegasProbateGuide.com with your two-minute probate tip. Today we're going to answer the question of the first who of probate. And by that I mean we need to determine who died. And what we're looking for here is to make sure that we know all the different names that the person used to acquire property during their life. So what I'm talking about is, for example, a person gets married, they have a maiden name and a married name. If they acquired property before marriage and they die while married, they may have their married name on their death certificate, but they may still own property in their maiden name. We can also have people who use more than one name during their life in terms of sometimes they use their full name or middle initial, and other times they'll just use their first and last name. Another example will be when people go to court and they actually get their name legally changed. So before we file our probate petition, we want to find out every name that the person has used in order to acquire property during their life. Because we can include in our probate petition a paragraph that alleges John J. Smith, a.k.a. John Smith, or Mary K. Smith, a.k.a. Mary K. Jones, and then when we get to the end of probate and we do our final order, we can have an order that specifically refers to all of the names the person owned their property in and distributing those assets owned by all those names to their chosen heirs. We'll also put that AKA in the case caption at the top of the pleading so that we will see that all through the probate we're dealing with all the names that the person had property. Now, a perfect example was I had a probate where the public administrator missed the fact that the decedent had acquired property in her maiden name and therefore had an outstanding loan in her maiden name. When they searched for it, they couldn't find it because they only looked for it in, their, in her married name. So they didn't make the payments on the loan, the house went to foreclosure, and the heirs lost over $100,000 in value because of that mistake. So, the first who of probate, who died? use every name that the decedent used during their life to acquire property.